Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Yak East. Um, yeah, you guys have probably just already seen all the videos of the Tanger Classic uh, from Jay's perspective and how he did. Um, it was a great tournament. Uh, we're neck and neck. I still say we tied, but I guess rules wise, uh, he submitted sooner, so he did beat me, I guess you could say. But lengthwise, we're all generally the same, but I'll give the victory to him, all the, all the power to him. <laughs> but um, but before I get into the, the fishing aspect of everything, I really wanted to share the purpose of this uh, event, really. Um, although a part of it is about us going out, competing, having fun, you know, trying to win the prize. Um, but I think the the biggest win of all of this event, and it's all in congratulations and, and and high praises to the the event coordinators but um pretty much this event is is focused around one family each year uh all the funds all big portions of of the of the event uh fees and all that go to a family uh, supporting a family that has a child that is struggling uh physically uh health wise um, and and they raise quite a bit of money uh, to seriously help uh, a, a family that is uh, struggling emotionally um, and obviously financially in a sense that they're trying to uh, protect and, and um, save a young one. So I think that that's incredible uh, how the event coordinator thought of this and put this together. Uh, although it is a small community in, um, in a small portion of Maryland, I believe that they've done a great job of expanding it to all the local people to really try to get involved and help a family and making a, a big uh, difference in their lives. So if you guys haven't looked into it, look into Tangier Classics, great people, uh, great event, uh, even a, a bigger, a, a greater cause uh, in the end. So um, yeah, I think that that's probably the a big win in itself. Um, with that being said, um, the way the tournament is broken down to is is a two day event, and uh, it's pretty much there's a whole bunch of Calcuttas that you can sign up for. Um, the more the merrier. A it, at the very least, it's it's a donation to help a family that's in need. So I really don't I really don't think there's a loss there. Now getting to the fishing portion of the tournament, um, all I can say it was a blast. It was it was it was an awesome event. It was a lot of fun. Um, to be honest, quite first at first going into this tournament, uh, it, felt, it was a little intimidating because uh, a lot of these Calcuttas, I, although there is a separate kayak and uh, and a boating or motorboat division, uh, I felt like you know the Calcuttas they were kind of combined into one, so there was no different uh, pub, uh, I guess pools for 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 kayaks versus versus boats. But since they're all combined in one, I felt like, oh man, it, it's going to be pretty rough, pretty tough. But you'd be surprised. Uh, the kayak fishermen held their own. And actually, all in all, I feel like the scores were actually very neck and neck. So it wasn't like one person was uh, had the h upper hand over the other. So I think that it was uh, pretty awesome and pretty balanced in that aspect. Um, but other than that, I just think that... Um, yeah, just the just the community, the the group that we fish with, the the the, the I guess the the people that we're kind of partnering up with, so to speak, uh, it was, it was pretty awesome. Uh, I think that we we got on some great fish, uh, quantity of fish, quality fish, um, and just yeah, I think I think we're right in the 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 thick of the competition all the way up to the end. So uh, I think it was a, it was a, a great outcome. Um, definitely, definitely will be there next year. Uh, I think it's just, it's just ha having that good cause with the great fishing. I, I just don't see why, why I wouldn't be there. Um, but, um, but yeah, if you guys hadn't checked it out, really check into the Tanger Classic. Um, uh, it's, it's really, you can fish anywhere in the bay. So you, I mean, you don't, you don't have to feel like you, you are, um, having to drive so far to go there. If you have home waters and you feel like you have, uh, a competitive edge and a all power to you the pretty much the whole bay is open to you especially for kayak fishermen so um definitely look into it and look at look to um competing and contributing next year to to the cause and to your chances at, at, at a big win so um other than that 
Um, as far as for me, I'm going to tell you, started slow, uh, was concerning, but man, I, I feel like I was on fish uh, more than not. Um, got pretty thick and heavy, um, and you guys will see what I mean by that. Uh, but uh, just uh, couldn't get away with it, just couldn't find the calls. Um, just uh, I had a lot of bites, but just couldn't find the big ones. Um, but all in all, I still feel like you know going into uh, the day, the second day, I was actually on top of the leaderboard. I, I don't know how accurate it was because I don't know who uploaded fish and if the updates were actually pretty uh, consistent or not. But going into the second day, uh, as far as what I could tell based on the leaderboard that I could see, um, I was actually leading the kayak division. Um, so, um, but yeah, uh, in the second day, just, just things got away from me. I, I didn't get into the kind of quality fish that I was hoping to get into. So, but yeah, um, that's all I could pretty much say. I think I've spoken enough. Then, so I think all I have left to do is just show you the action. It's just, there's so much action. I'm just going to go from catch to catch. Uh, no real commentaries or anything like that. But, uh, but I think that it'll probably be for your own good. So other than that, let's just get into the videos and get into the action. And I hope you guys enjoy.
trout. It's either a trout or a bluefish. Come on, stay up, stay up. What? No, it better not be a rock. 